Welcome to another edition of It Matters. I'm Jonathan, I'm here with Eric today. We're talking about the top things you should do to protect your data, but you probably aren't. So Eric, you've dealt with a lot of customers. What's the thing that you see the most that you think people should be doing to protect their data? So I just want to start out by saying that there are, there are a lot of things that you need to be doing to protect your data. But one of the most important things is uh, sort of what I call the three R's, right? So revision, retention, and replication. Um, I think about backups, and, uh, and that's the easiest way to put this in the context, in that the best thing you could do to protect your data is to figure out how many different copies you want of the type of data, um, how long do you want to keep them for, and then where to put them in terms of uh, being able to protect them in case there's an issue. So. Cool. So how does, how does Brick Store and MyRackTop solve those three R's? So what we've done is within um, the operating system, we've implemented what we call protection policies. And we've really simplified the whole process of doing this. So uh, to really understand what a big problem this is, and it, is, you know, it doesn't seem, it seems kind of logical, right? It doesn't seem like it'd be a big issue, but it is. Um, because typically we use, we use um, other software to accomplish this goal, right? So mm -hmm. we uh, use backup software to go ahead and, and back up our data and, and accomplish those three R's. Now, um, that requires uh, additional setup and configuration, and somebody's got to watch that stuff and make sure it's working, right? So, right. you know, the 10 second overview is that it's not easy, it's pretty complex, and most, most people don't necessarily have the resources to do it the right way. So, what we've done is we've totally simplified this all the way down to the core component, which is what is your data protection policy, and then you apply the data protection policy to where you're storing the data. So, you answer a couple questions, and then it takes care of um, those three hours for you. And uh, so within Brickstore OS and within Brickstore, that is, that's what we're doing to, to sort of solve those, those problems. And that's, you know, that's how I, what I see as that number one data you know, thing that people should be doing to protect their data is do those three hours right. and do it simply. So, so basically the simplified snapshot technology, the built-in replication, and then the free storage of data elsewhere in the cloud, for instance, gives them replicated copies of that snapshot of data, so right. different versions. Exactly, and everything you're doing, you try to, you know, it's protecting your data, but what we're trying to do is, is create an environment where it's easy to recover that data uh, when you need it, right? So um, it's not sort of, it's not just sort of protecting access to it, but it's protecting um, the data so that you can use it and utilize it in the future. So. I'm going to throw the question right back at you. What is What do you think the number one thing is that so people I, could be doing? I think the one thing I see a lot that people could be doing to protect their data but aren't is giving delegated or restricted access. It seems like many times you go into a place and everyone within the IT staff has complete root access and admin access to everything. And I think that's bad on multiple levels. Uh, one, it opens up the possibility that you know, somebody can maliciously uh, modify, delete, or corrupt data, or change settings. But even more often, you have well-intended people either deleting entire directories by accident when they try to move a file, or doing things like making a configuration change that shouldn't have been made that goes unnoticed and then long-term leads to longer, uh, more serious problems. So most often, it's a innocent mistake that leads to big problems, but I think delegated and restricted access and not allowing everyone to have root privileges is, an, is a critical thing to protect your data. So is that, I mean, is that, is that something that is really happening today? Are people actually out there with full access to systems and permissions being wide open? I think that happens at a lot of places, and it's not because they don't know better, but because it's difficult with the systems that exist to tie it into things with, with access controls, like using Active Directory accounts. You don't want to have to memorize a whole new set of passwords or permission or you know logins and passwords for each system. You want it to be centralized. You want single sign-on. So using your credentials regardless. Like and right now, LDAP and Active Directory are the most prevalent uh, kind of centralized authorities for access control. So if you had to pick what's more important, the three R's or access control, what would you pick? Um, well, I answered access control. So, of course. So I would say access control. Of course. Well, it obviously takes a lot of things, right? right. Like I mentioned. Um, so there's, it's not just any one thing that's going to uh, help you protect your data, but it's you know being diligent about many things, I right. think. So.
Yeah, this is not comprehensive, but just the top. Yeah. The top two that we think. And the number one is the three R's. <laughs> so. Till next time, thanks for joining us. I'm Jonathan, and this is Eric.